everybody, it's Honest John again. Uh, the, the Department of Justice ended its investigation into Andrew McCabe a few days ago. Not with a bang, but with a whimper. There was no evidence of any wrongdoing. Ordinarily, that would not be big news. But in transcripts released last week, the judge in the case basically reamed the prosecutor is a new one. She accused them of improper and unethical conduct and said that this case was being dragged out because of improper political influence by Bob Barr and Trump. At the same time, four prosecutors removed themselves from the Roger Stone case because Barr, as the direction of Trump, changed the prosecutor's sentencing recommendation. And the same thing has happened in the Mike Flynn case. The prosecutors haven't resigned, but, but the Justice Department did force them to change their sentencing recommendation from six months in, in jail to probation. What's going on is that there is now a clear pattern of Trump using the Justice Department to protect his friends and to go after his enemies, to investigate people he doesn't like, like Comey, Hillary Clinton, and McCabe. This is not how a democracy operates. This is banana republic stuff. It is the kind of thing that dictators do. Over the weekend, 400 present and former prosecutors for the Department of Justice uh, wrote a letter saying that Bob Barr should resign as Attorney General. But Barr and Trump's criminal behavior will be protected by the Republicans in the Senate. And so far, the independence of the court system has worked to protect the people that Trump has gone after. But what happens if one of those cases winds up in front of a judge that Trump has appointed to the federal court. We know Trump has no uh, ethical scruples. And I doubt that any of his judges can be trusted to be fair and objective. Meanwhile, the real criminals, Trump, Barr, Devin Nunez, Moscow, Mitch McConnell, and a whole lot of others, are sitting in the catbird seat. What we must do in November is get rid of Trump and get rid of every Republican that we possibly can for their assault on the Constitution and democracy itself. Thanks for listening. Well, I want to thank you all for watching my videos, but there are certain changes that Google has made to YouTube, which since I'm a smaller channel, means that I can't monetize my videos. So I found places where I can. So instead of watching my videos here on YouTube, I'd appreciate it if you'd go either to Patreon or to uh, Top Buzz. Uh, they, they let me monetize videos and I don't even have to put commercials on. 
So, if you want to become a patron on Patreon, that's fine. If you don't, you can still watch the videos there. I've just kind of given up on YouTube. YouTube is just a place that I use so that I can put my videos in other places. So, Patreon, Top Buzz, the links are in the description box. Thanks a lot.